Hey there, film fans. Welcome back to the Spoiler Zone. Today, we're doing something a little different. We're diving into the art of visual storytelling in Mad Max, Fury Road, a film that redefined how movies can speak to us without saying a word. That's right, we're going to break down how George Miller used colors, cinematography, and a powerful visual language to tell a story so intense, you could almost turn off the sound and still get every ounce of its impact. If you're ready to see how a desert wasteland can be turned into a canvas of pure storytelling magic, stick around, because this is going to be a wild ride. Let's start with the most striking element of Mad Max, Fury Road, its color palette. Now, usually post-apocalyptic movies are all about those washed out grays and dark tones, right? But not this one. George Miller flipped the script and went for vibrant oranges, blues, and deep blacks. The burning orange of the desert during the day and the eerie blue of the night sequences create a visual contrast that's impossible to ignore. These colors aren't just for show, they tell you everything you need to know about the harshness of this world and the desperation of its characters. Now, let's talk about the cinematography, which is just mind-blowing. Every frame of Fury Road looks like a painting, meticulously crafted to guide your eyes exactly where they need to go. George Miller and his team used a technique called center framing to keep all the important action right in the middle of the screen. This means that no matter how chaotic the scene gets, your eyes are always locked onto the main focus, making it easy to follow the story without ever feeling lost. And here's a fun fact. Most of the film storytelling is done through visuals with minimal dialogue. Think about it. How much do you really hear Max or Furiosa talking throughout the movie? Not a whole lot, right? Instead, Miller lets the visuals do the talking. From Furiosa's intense expressions to Max's haunted eyes, you can feel the weight of their pasts, their desperation, and their hope for survival. This visual storytelling technique allows the audience to connect with the characters on a deeper level without the need for long-winded explanations. One of the most powerful uses of visual language in the film is the recurring symbol of water. Water represents life, hope, and power in this desolate wasteland. The scene where a Morton Joe releases the water to the desperate masses below is a perfect example. It's like watching a godlike figure teasing the people with a taste of salvation, only to snatch it away. This image says more about control and survival than any dialogue ever could. And let's not forget the incredible use of motion. The entire movie feels like it's constantly in motion, almost like a dance choreographed to perfection. George Miller used quick cuts and kinetic camera movements to create a sense of urgency and chaos. Even when the vehicles are tearing across the desert at breakneck speed, you never feel disoriented. Instead, you're right there in the thick of it, feeling every bump, every explosion, and every desperate escape. One of the coolest aspects of Fury Road's visual storytelling is how it pays tribute to silent films. Yes, you heard that right, silent films. George Miller borrowed techniques from the era when filmmakers had to rely purely on visuals to tell their stories. You'll notice moments where characters' gestures, expressions, and even the scenery do all the talking. It's a beautiful nod to cinema's roots and a reminder that sometimes actions really do speak louder than words. So there you have it. That's how George Miller used colors, cinematography, and a powerful visual language to turn Mad Max, Fury Road, into a masterclass of storytelling without words. It's a film that proves you don't always need dialogue to understand a story. You just need the right visuals to guide you through the madness. What do you think? Did you catch all these visual details the first time you watched it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another deep dive into the world of movies. Thanks for joining us on The Spoiler Zone. Until next time, keep your eyes wide open for the hidden stories in every frame.